Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. I'm James David, and today I'm doing the final part concerning this jewel alocasia collection sold in these local nurseries here in Sungai Bolo. And I would like to share some thoughts about them, and I hope you enjoy this video. These are black velvet alocasia. If you notice here, they have much more vibrant colors. It's a smaller plantlet, which is actually sold for a more affordable price. And you can actually, if you want the plant to have a, to start with, I think these, these are one of the most ideal plants to get. These are actually planted in cocoa peat and uh, I think uh, eventually you may have to uh, change the medium because if you continue to grow over here, chances for it to have a root rot is very high. But apart from that, this particular plant look very healthy looking and uh, even the new leaf look very vibrant. So it's a, it's, a, it's a good sign of very good healthy plant. And next we can look over here, Alocasia Mellow as I spoken in my earlier video. I also want to mention to you that there is another one known as uh, Alocasia Maharani where the, uh, the back underleaf will be actually more darker, will have a dark burgundy. So Mellow will actually have a green back. So one of those are the main characteristics to find a difference. Apart from that, the, this particular leaf structure will have like a leather back kind of a feel and it's quite hard so it's one of the very unique characteristics to find in this uh, alocasia collection this is another caladium one of the most popular types of caladium which is now popularly trending now in the market i want to make a mention about this particular uh, specimen here which you can see the white uh, factors on that actually those are actually uh, spider mite infestation so do have do check before purchasing because if all you have to do is just introduce one particular plant in your collection and the whole collection is infested with spider mites likewise this is uh, azalani also having the same problem so one of the things here is that uh, using a mitty site it will actually help to regulate most likely a mixture with soap and neem oil will do the trick also you can see a good collection of silver dragon alocasia sold in the nursery here This particular one is known as Alocasia reversa. It has an exact similar col colors which is of a silver dragon but the reverse effect of it. So that's the uniqueness of silver dragon together with reversa. Some of the things that need to be checked is the, the leaf uh, issues here if you look over here there is some um, leaf miners on them so this is a damaged leaf uh, so do check these are the things that are actually checked before purchasing the plant If you look over here closely, there is infestation of uh, red mites here, which is highly shocking because I have not come across Riverside having spider mite infestation. So these are the things which is very important because uh, growing these plants outdoor may not be so bad, but if you were to bring them indoors, the infestation can be quite damaging and also can destroy most of other uninfected plants so do check it out before purchasing them 
this is another one nobilis which i find it's a, they have a very good collection here too uh, over here i find that uh, the the plant looks a little bit better and more healthy looking another factor is that normally i trim off all the flower buds from this alicacias simply because i want the plant to focus more on the foliage development and this is, has a very good growth normally i often find a small plant and i see this particular one it has a very good mature looking specimen this is a very new one ventii i've never come across anywhere else which has a very light burgundy back but the front looks like very similar very plain looking green so this is one of the uniqueness of this particular plant i, I was also said that it was uh, did some research that when the i actually was mentioned that it actually does not exist so there's another contention to be uh, checked on this one is uh, also another hybrid together with here is a stingray Uh, this is actually badly damaged with the spider mites i am not very sure whether it is uh, uh, black coral or black ripple but looking at the damaged leaves uh, i i would recommend to remove this kind of infestation before it can actually infect the plants but of course uh, being plant vendors their focus is mostly just to sell off the plants and this kind of care may not be of their uh, great importance. Unlike most plants, alocasia, jewel alocasia especially, is a very sensitive plant. And if you were to have one infected plant, and it can actually infect a whole lot. So I just want to mention to you here is that a lot of care is needed to maintain and cultivate this particular type of jewel alocasia. Anyway, though it is such of a challenge it is quite can be very rewarding thank you so much for following up with me in these videos i would like to conclude here and if you have any questions do put in the comment below and i'll try my best to answer you and if you can do click like my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much and have a nice day bye